So what do you do when life falls apart? Okay guys, so this is a this is a video, it's for everybody really. It's kind of like about what life is like post depression. Okay. And actually this video is for um, a friend, someone who contacted me online. This is for Lee. And, uh, you know, Lee's, I'm not going to get into the specifics of Lee's story here, but uh, needless to say, it's a story about a life, a vision a person had for themselves, and it all falls apart. Okay, it all falls apart in terms of a family relationships. But I'm not going to get specific about it because, to be honest with you guys, you probably know at this point, if you watched a good few of my videos, even in the psychotherapy videos or in the counseling sessions I do with people, everything I do is based on this, this book, which is A Course in Miracles. And Lee is actually using A Course in Miracles now to, you know, determine, well, what does all this mean? How do I discern how to move forward in my life? But when I read Lee's story, um, the thing that came to me, and this is for you, Lee, really, for watching this, um, it's kind of like, you know, when things fall apart in life, um, we're left kind of picking up the pieces. And it can sometimes feel like, you know, um, a hopeless situation. Okay, but the good news is life after something like this, and I'm saying life after depression. So I'm saying really like a depression often comes with a huge, huge challenge in life, right? We can slide into a depression a sense of hopelessness that overtakes us. So after this huge depression, life is very, very different on the other side, okay? So really what I'm saying here today is there's a huge opportunity. This is, this, the title of this video could be something like, um, you know, the good side of depression, right? And you might be thinking, oh, I can't really think of a good side of depression because it feels bloody horrible. In a minute, and yeah, that's very true. But what happens? This is the exciting thing about depression your life is never the same again. Not a lot of people talk about this. After depression, you never see the world the same way again. Because what is really taking place when the story you had for yourself or the life you thought you had falls apart, what you realize is I feel horrible. I feel like there's no point in going on in life. So you have to reevaluate what you placed value in. Okay, in other words, what were the attachments I had? Because if you're attached to something that can end, um, or attached to something that will end, and ultimately everything ends in the world. Um, inevitably, you're on a you know you're on a collision course with pain. Okay. Um, and depression teaches you, it's sort of like a crash course in reevaluating what's important. And what's important really in life is what lasts, not what's temporary. Okay. And, you know, it's one thing saying this, it's a very different thing knowing what this means. Like feeling what this means, feeling what that reality is. You know, and that's what depression is. That's when you learn it firsthand. So, in Lee's story, um, it was when I read it, it was like a series of horrible events, failed, uh, a breakdown in relationships. And it's like it reminded me of what a course, the Course in Miracles, a Course in Miracles says about, well, it doesn't explicitly say it actually, it's, it spells it out in, in sections. It talks about the script we have in our life. It really talks about the fact that everything here is sort of predetermined for us, even all the negative things, all the challenges, right? And it all happens for a reason. It plays out exactly as it's supposed to. So the first thing you can take from that is nothing has gone wrong when things seem to break down or completely fall apart in life, right? It's almost like a cruel joke, but of course a miracle says you're in on it. 
okay, you actually, um, you kind of played a part, you agreed to this, to go through this, in order for you to get to the other side. And on the other side of this, experience, Lee, is emotional freedom, okay? A letting go of attachments. Does it mean that you become indifferent or cold in relationships? Quite the opposite of that. Far more loving afterwards. But you, you begin to realize nothing here in the world. Um, I can't rely on it. You cannot rely on anything. And if you do put stock in things in the world, the Course says um, it won't work. And you figure that out sooner or later. It says sooner or later everybody gets to the point where they say there must be another way. And Lee, I'm excited for you because it sounds like that's where you are right now. You're at the point where you're realizing there must be another way to live. So something else that I mentioned to Lee was, okay, after this awareness takes place, you begin to say, well, how am I going to live in life? A course in Miracles. Okay, it gives you a way of discerning life, how to make decisions. That's one of my favorite things about it. It tells you how to make decisions in life. So how do you make decisions in life? Okay, we get into all this trouble. We go through the depression because of our pre-depression mindset, which is egotistical. It's it's where we, we run off the ego programming that we, we have. Inevitably, that brings us to pain. But, so what we're doing is we kind of have, we think we know it all. Okay, we think we, we know what's going to make us happy. If I can just make this relationship work, I'll be happy. Okay, and, and inevitably then it doesn't work, it breaks down. And what comes in then is a bit of humility. And humility is a very, very good thing. It, re, it, make, it helps us realize that the pre-depression stage that I was in, I was figuring out things by myself. I thought I had all the answers. Turns out I don't have any of the answers. I was fooling myself about that. And now post-depression, what I'm beginning to realize is I need consultation before I make decisions. Okay. And who is the best consul consultant you can get? It's yourself. It's your higher self. It's the person, the thing, the part of your own mind that you can contact just by asking and it will help you make decisions going forward in life. The interesting thing about it is the, the consultant, your higher self, your higher mind, always tells you the same thing when you consult it. Okay, and that is, you're safe here, you can't go wrong, there's nothing to worry about. Okay, and you might say to yourself, well, well that's great, now I know what it says, why would I bother consulting it? You know, if it's going to tell me the same thing all the time, what's the big deal? The issue is, because of our egoic mind, we forget all the time. So we go into new situations in life, and we think, oh, I have a big decision to make here, okay? Um, and if I get the wrong, you know, if I take the wrong choice here, there could be terrible consequences, okay? Your higher self just comes in and gently reminds you, if you ask for the consultation, there's nothing to worry about here. Okay, no matter what you choose here, you're safe. You cannot go wrong. And that opens you up to all sorts of new possibilities. But it's the reminder. It's the reminder you get. That's for big decisions in life and seemingly trivial or small decisions in life. So, um, I don't know, I, I could talk a bit more about that. But uh, I just wanted to make a video specifically, I suppose, for you, Lee. Um, because, by the way... Um, you gave a donation, which was really nice of you to do. I wasn't even expecting that, but I uh, appreciate it. It was really nice of you. Um, but I just wanted to make a quick video about that because, you know, hopefully it'll help you, but also hopefully it'll help other people. Because all problems are the same. The answers to all problems are the same. Okay? <laughs> that sounds sometimes very ego to hear that. It's difficult. But, yeah, it's true. Okay? Every problem is the same, and the answer is the same to them all. So anyway, that's food for thought, and I uh, hope it helps, and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Take care.